Spice up your cakes by adding decorated cake boards to add a level of interest and detail to your cake. Welcome back friends, today I'll be showing you how I made this wood panel cake board. We'll be using a 12 inch cake drum, brown fondant, a mix of brown and white fondant, a knife, an adhesive of your choice, cornstarch ribbon, a brush to evenly distribute the adhesive, and a rolling pin. Let's start with cornstarch on our hands and surface to make sure the fondant doesn't stick. We're going to roll out and twist the fondant carefully, making sure not to overmix them. The process is to roll, twist, roll again, and fold. We want to keep doing it until we've achieved the desired look. Once the pattern looks similar to a wood grain, we want to flatten it out using a rolling pin. At this point, we're only rolling out the same way as a wood grain, otherwise the wood grain would look too wide or far apart. Cut the fondant and stick them to the side to widen the surface of your fondant. We're going to keep doing this until it's the right size for our cake board. Apply the adhesive evenly on the cake board and carefully lift the fondant and place on top. Since I don't have a fondant smoother, I'm using a rolling pin to make sure the fondant is in full contact with the cake board. Trim the excess fondant and gently soften the sides with your fingers. Now we're creating the wood panel illusion. Using the side of a plastic ruler, gently put pressure to create lines. I happen to have another ruler, so I'm using that to create the next line. I'm allowing two rulers to fit in each panel. The spacing is totally up to you. Feel free to do what works for the size of your cake board. Just make sure that the lines are going vertically with the grain. Make sure to skip every other wood panel when creating the horizontal line. Then we're going to use a round piping tip to create the nail heads. I'm using Wilton tip number 10. We want to place a nail in every corner where the panels meet. The next step is optional. At this point, our cake is already looking like a wood panel, but I want it to look even more realistic by airbrushing it. The first color I grabbed looked a tad green to me, so I added a tiny bit of red to correct the color. I want the color just to be brown to create a shadow effect on the panel. I'm airbrushing just where we created the lines. Moving on to the nail heads, choose whatever color you'd like, but since my ribbon is black, I want to match my nail heads with a ribbon, so I'm choosing black. We're almost at the finish line. Now measure and cut your ribbon to the length of your cake board and attach using a glue stick. If you have a glue gun, this step would be much easier for you. <laughs> Add a little bit of glue to the cake board and press the ribbon. Keep repeating until you've covered the rest. And for the final touch, I'm adding feet to my cake board. It makes it easier to grab the cake and also serves as a non-slip base. There you have it. You now have a dressed up cake board. I hope this tutorial was helpful. All materials used is on the description box below. Please like and subscribe.